What? Hey, Has Dad. Daddy got something here? He's got ice cream all over his shirt, if anybody's wondering. And butter, because we grilled the other day. And Sean left the butter on the grill. So, y'all know, summertime, I always like to do a little surprise for the kids. Well, this one's going to be no different. I like giving them plenty of choices that they can do right around here at the house and have some fun. So, I did this. I got him a puddle better than the blow-up one. Them old blow-up pools, you gotta take them up, take them down, take them up, take them down, refill them, unfill them, like, they're a pain. And then they end up popping little holes in them and things don't stay blowed up. Super good pool from the reviews. So let's get this thing put up today. I wanna go ahead and get ahead of the curve with it because that way, well, there goes my tarps up the yard. <laughs> Chloe! I need those down here, sweetheart. So we got this deck here. We never knew what we was going to do with it. This is actually the perfect size for that little puddle, I'm going to call it. It ain't a pool, it's a puddle, it's a puddle. So it's going to be a puddle, and this is going to be the puddle's deck. But it's perfect size for it. It's already level. I'm going to throw a couple tarps on top of it. Then put the pool on top of that and fill it up. But let's get this in. completely 100% overlooked my hair. I took a shower this morning. I decided just to shower this morning instead of last night. I was tired, but I'm letting it air dry, keep the heat off of it. So, you know, I get these weird curly cues and just overlook my hair. But anyhow, you see, Sean is out there putting our swimming pool up. Yay, it is not a super big pool, it's a small one. But it will be something for us to cool off on this summer and the kids to have a good time in. And it's something we can take apart and store in the building, bring back out, use it over and over. The inflatable ones, they keep getting holes, all that stuff. And this one has a filter, so it will help keep some of the gunk out. But anyhow, we had a mishap. Chloe um, and Colton had ice creams outside this afternoon well it was about 11 and chloe got stung on the inside of her finger and on her thumb oh no where'd it get you my poor baby you guys i think that's the first time she's ever really felt pain like that you know of course she's bumped her head scraped her knee whatever as a normal toddler but two bee stings at once i managed to get the stinger out of her thumb and out of her finger so that's a plus but i brought her straight in because she's never been stung by a bee you know allergic reaction i washed her hands like i said i pulled the stingers out of both of them but i put some benadryl cream on her fingers and put band-aids on it and i gave her a little dab of benadryl just a little bit i put a drop on her tongue just and i brought her in the house so i can watch her for about an hour but so far she's doing good i'm not allergic sean's not allergic so I'm, neither one of our children are colton hasn't been stung yet so i think she's good Whew. 
That was bad for my baby girl. It broke my heart. But anyhow, Sean is finishing the pool. Yay. I have got this right there laid out. We're going to be baking that chicken in a little bit, making some homemade mashed potatoes, and I'm not sure what else. But instead of the fruit salad I was talking about in the last vlog, I think I'm just going to do the watermelon. We need to get that cut up and eat it. So that's going to be our dessert. He's pushing me. He's wanting to go out so bad. Are you excited? He has stood right here. Sean had him out there for about, about 30 minutes, and he kept trying to slip out and go down the holler, and Sean's like, all right, you got to go in the house until I get this done so he's not happy about being in here until dad gets that done but he's filling it up and everything else too right now so and putting what little chemicals need to go in it when the pool gets finished dad's working right now um, uh, we can't be chasing you down the road when he's got all those parts and everything laying out there but anyhow we're gonna let Sean finish the pool and then we're gonna bake his chicken also I gotta do something with this you guys, I have naturally curly, it's not curly, it's wavy, but I've straightened it for 20 years, you know, so of course I've straightened probably most of the curl out down here, but you can see what hasn't been a lot. <laughs> it comes out curly. I should just stop and go back to my curls. I don't like curls on me. I just don't. All right, you guys, it is time to get the chicken in the oven. Embarrassing was that you know like 20,000 people seen that that um, we baked the chicken upside down didn't even notice ourselves and uh, boom complained about how it was the boniest chicken ever because we was eating the bottom of it so I'm just gonna sit y'all down I'll show you the ingredients as I put them in or rather the seasonings you'll see the ingredients but I'll give you it up close on the seasonings I don't have any twine so I'm just gonna stuff the butt with a few things and uh, roll with it you guys that is it for the stuff that's going in the chicken and around it in the pan to bake with it i've done two potatoes because i don't know if colton will eat mashed potatoes so do some diced potatoes for him we got lemon onion garlic carrot and potato salt and pepper all right chicken is seasoned and i've already got the carrots and lemon and onion up in it <laughs> but anyhow let's go ahead and throw some garlic and onion and potato just all around it all right, she is about ready to go in the oven all right all we got left to do is throw some pats of butter around the chicken on the potatoes and stuff my oven is on 425 i'm going to pop it in for about 15 minutes at that temp and then I'm gonna turn the temperature down to probably about, I don't know, 380, 375, and then it will bake for an hour and a half. And I'm gonna pull it out twice and spoon some of the juices back up on the chicken. Then we get the mashed potatoes going. My Lord, you guys. If TV had smell a vision So I just pulled it out for the second time, took some of those juices, I just took a spoon and dripped it all over the top, mixed the veggies and stuff along the sides up too, but whew, if you could smell that. It's got about 30 more minutes to go, so I'm gonna get the potatoes on. All right, you guys, I just washed these potatoes. We boil them whole and just mix the skin right up in our mashed potatoes. That's the way we like it. You can do it however you want to. I decided to do some sweet peas for me and Chloe. I'm gonna try Colton again. Sean will not touch a pea, so. There is carrots um, in the thing with the chicken. You guys seen that? And I'm gonna do some rolls, and that's gonna be dinner. Chicken, it smells so good. It don't have much longer. 
All right, you guys, I was just checking the temperature. We are almost there. We just gotta get to 165, so I'm gonna say like 15 more minutes, it'll be done. The potatoes are done boiling. I've done got them mashed up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and just add salt, pepper. You put in it whatever you want and some half and half. And of course, a half a stick of butter. It is time to plate. You guys, we like our skin crispy. Oh my gosh. You did it. You've done it twice in a row. Y'all, I baked the freaking chicken upside down again. Again. Like, why do I keep doing that? Mommy! Mommy! I don't know. I'll take Mom. that one because it's Mommy. totally me. I keep Mommy. doing it. It still tastes wonderful. It just took a bite of it. But it was upside down again. Dinner is served. Upside down chicken. Upside down chicken. <laughs> Carrots, peas, homemade mashed potatoes, rolls, and of course, the chicken. What are you doing? I thought you was vacuuming the kitchen. That's the vacuum for the kitchen, bud. No, no, no. No, it's for in here? No, it's that. You trying to pull the trigger? Man, you're doing so good. Watch him go. Watch him go. Why is there 800 shoes in the yard? Uh, ask your children. I'm asking my husband who was out here with my children. I brought them in when they done it. They just went wild all of a sudden. Boom, there it is, y'all. Our bag of water. Uh-oh. Do you need help? Do you need help? Sean, no, don't be mean to Bug. I asked it if it needed help. No, you're asking. You're not helping. Do something about it. Be a good human. Shh. Here you go. Whee. Are you happy with the bag of water? Yes. Oh, yes, I am. I'm excited. Jump in. Did you tell him that that lights up and there's a waterfall? Yeah, but we got to get a... Before I can hook the waterfall up, I've got to get another tee and another hose like this right here, and then I can tee it up into that, or I can plug that off and just run this. Yeah, it's a little light up, uh, cheap old waterfall. Old. I'm excited. It'll be fun. <laughs> It'll be funny for all of us the first time getting in, because no matter what, you know the first dip of the year is cold. So Depends. Like this isn't. A very big pool, so it'll yeah. get warm well, really you can quick. See, like the span of it, is it's six and a half yeah. by nine and a nine point. And the foot. water is right, the water is up to right here, so it's perfect for the kids, regardless. Mom and dad will always be in there with them, and they're never alone outside. But it's, I'd say, Chloe, it'll be, yeah. Up to here on her, but Colton, he'll probably have a little pretty good height than that. They was tickled to death. They both jumped out here and took their shirts off. That's why I couldn't film. <laughs> I mean, they just they went for it. Yeah. They didn't get in. I didn't let them in, but I put a little scoop of water across the back of their neck. They was done. They didn't ask to get back in no more because it is very cold. I just run it out of the faucet, and this ain't no kind of like if y'all wonder where we got it. It was like. 350 400 bucks something like that i'll put the link down in the comments if y'all want to go check it out maybe get a puddle or a trainer pool it's what we're thinking it of but to me it's the bag of water because that's all it is a big old giant bag of water definitely a good trainer pool so this is going to be amusing yeah it probably is you it's climb 80 degrees outside so it's been in the sun for about six hours okay Mama's got to hop in first. Mama's got to go in first. Let me skim some buggy wings. Ah, uh, they ain't nothing on there. Come on, Mama. Quit procrastinating. I'm not trying. Maybe I am. It's none of your business. Come on. That ain't even bun. Ooh, is that cold? Oh, she said, wait, Mama. Oh, it's, it's yeah, go ahead, Mommy. You opened this can of worms. I probably won't dip low. Just my legs. Yeah. This was worth leaving edit in the video. This 
water has not had nowhere near a chance to warm up yet. I can see the chill bumps on your skin. Ain't no chill bumps yet because I'm only to my Oh, head. you got chill bumps. <gasps> oh my God. That is. Mommy, I'm <laughs> Poor baby. I'm just, oh, there's no way we can swim. There's no way. Set her down, see what she does. She came back up. Yeah. Let's go, Cece. Mama, Mom, you wanna? <laughs> Is it too cold? No, no, no. I hit her butt and it was over. <laughs> you won't go any further. <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> 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 <laughs>